matchup between these two. Pionk's physicality and offense were on full display the last time these two teams met. He had a bunch of hits and a number of key takeaways the last time they went head-to-head. -head. Two dynamic stars, two fierce rivals. It's a grudge match, and it's next. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. The Jets will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Puts it in deep. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. Grabbed along the board by Power. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Here's a pass in front, and that's intercepted. Feeds it over. Shifley moves the puck. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Pushes it across to DeMello. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to tip it. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Saucer pass. Back to the blue line. Moves it to the middle. Can't connect the play. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Lowry. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. And he slides it quickly to Miller. From the boards, he takes that pass. Slides it across. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Here they come on the attack. Fires it. Tonight on the play. Continues here, but this crowd's still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. Sends the pass over. Here's a short pass to Darlene. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. Gustafson's got it along the wing. And he takes the feed. Moves it on over to Brick. Yeah, they're gonna fight here. There's been an edge all game and a chip on the shoulder, and it results in a player down. Anytime a player's down, you know that you're gonna have your teammates back. This was gonna happen either way. Drops the hammer on that one. Yeah, the clear winner as that final punch perfectly executed in a tough one on the other end. When the fight started, the fans erupted, and then all of a sudden the tilt went the road team's way, and it got awfully silent in here. Well, with all that said and done with, we still got a game to play, and face-off here set to resume action. And off the face-off, they take possession. Quick pass to Rossi. He knows he's only one goal away from his next milestone. That's why he's possessing the puck tonight. Hellebuck's gonna hang on for a whistle. Jerseys, hats, keychains, you name it. Smartphone cases. They got you covered at the team store. Check them out online, or you can visit it just outside the arena. Open seven days a week.
But you know he's worked a lot on this in practice because his hands are an extension of his body here, James. He knows how to manipulate his opponent. He dangles his way to the net, and he doesn't miss. Anaheim's got the opening goal in this game of chess on the ice. Let's see how things change now, Cheryl. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. You get the first goal over halfway through the first period, and you want to kind of find a way to continue that pace and dictate it further into the game. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Puck not loose after that hit. The Jets gain control of the puck. Game time stop. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square of the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. They fight for it along the boards. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. They've got numbers here. Slides it across. No for that shot to go through. The Ducks move it ahead. Sends it in front. He scores! What a play! I just love the effort to set up this goal, James. I mean, knowing that you have the puck on your stick, it's a real unselfish play because everything he is doing is calculated to manipulate his opponent because he wants to feed his teammate. The coach has some choice words for his bench right now, and you can just see the negativity on his face and on his demeanor because his team really didn't come ready to play. Now they're trailing in this game. They got a mountain to climb. Well, and after that last goal, we're starting to see a recurring theme here with you-know-who. Well, yeah, I mean, he's a point-per-game player against this rival opponent, James, and every time he gets the puck, he just seems to make things happen. He plays with a new sense of urgency every time he's faced with this opponent. Puck picked up by Niskanen. Moves it to Michael. Here's a shot. The scores! 25 now on the year. He just continues to come up clutch. I love his shot mentality, James. I mean, he has got a and he's not afraid to unleash it. 25 on the season, showing his pure natural school scoring ability. has been on fire to start this one and still lots of time left in the first. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Winnipeg's grab a hold of the puck. The Jets cross the line and gain the zone. Puck dumped in. Quick feed to Michael. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Winnipeg's got the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Oh, and here's the pass. Picked off by Niskanen. The Jets take it along the wall. Connors on the attack in the offensive zone. Scores! And a huge goal here has put the right back into this one. Yeah, and if they can get one more, then they run away from tying this game up, James. So it's about building and continually finding ways to press and be aggressive on the puck. and they did not do it. But the latter half of this first period, they're starting to punch a little bit, but they need to find more of that if they want to get back in the game. Tries to take on the puck, skips away. Big stop right there. Feeds it on over to Darlene. Poked away by Scandilla. The Jets look to start the transition game. Taken by Silverberg. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. What a blocker stop at point blank range by Hillebuck. Oh, and another beauty stop right there. Now a quick pass to Appleton. Moves it around along the half wall. 
Feeds it down low. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Now you got to toe the line. You can play with an edge, but you certainly can't play frustrated and take penalties consistently. That's the second of the period. inside the attacking zone. Slides the puck over to Enron. Take it along the wall by Shifley. Moves it to the middle! And that's intercepted! And the puck clears the zone. Looks to pass it to Connor. Moves it quickly over to Shifley. And that's poked away by Rossi. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Gets it over to Lowry. The Jets played along the wing. Frustrating for that first unit not to be able to capitalize on the power play, but here comes the second unit. There's still time on the clock to be able to get one on the board. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Trying to clear. And they get it out of harm's way. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. And a successful clearing attempt. Time of the essence here. Yeah, they can't skate it. They got to move it to be able to gain entry quickly. Skips out of the battle along the boards, and here we go. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Anaheim's penalty killers get a hold of it. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Passes over to Pionk. Scooped up along the wall by Nemestikov. Anaheim's PK unit comes up clutch. You can have all the ozone possession time on a power play in the world, and you don't... Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. Penalty coming up here. The Jets will serve two for slashing. Sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Gets the puck in deep. The Ducks have it now. Plays the puck up ahead. And now it's grabbed by Tippett. Here's a short pass to Richards. Oh, what a save in front! I love the shiftiness to his game. He reads the pace of play and he can manipulate his own. On just as time runs out. Johns is having a lot of fun out there. Why wouldn't he be, James? I mean, he's putting up numbers left, right, and center on this point streak. But you know who's also having a lot of fun? His team. They're rallying around him. Looking forward to another one. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. Great presence on the ice to knock that down. 
can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Pokes it away in his own end. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Grabbed along the board by Johns. And a poke check knocks the puck away. The Jets will kill off a few extra seconds now. Takes a shot. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Fires it into the offensive zone. Feeds the puck to champion. Here's a high danger opportunity. Smart defensive effort to bring up that play. Rocked him. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, and guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits, just like that one. Makes it look easy with the stop. Aya follows, almost ready to get back on the ice. Fantastic save! The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason, and this time, he bails his team out. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Anaheim's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. The Ducks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Back to the point it goes. Passes it over. Here's a chance. Denies him in close. Quick feed to Ayafalo. And that's poked away. Picked up along the wall by Tippett. Anaheim's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. And that's off a stick. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. The Ducks have dominated in the shot department here early in the second, and they lead this one. Shifley's won it in their own end. Slides the puck across to Malarney. Takes the pass. Anaheim's across the blue line. And he totally whiffs on that one. And a smart hits up play to poke that away by power. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Anaheim's got the puck. Here's a shot. Blocked in traffic. And the play continues. Oh, what a save on the clapper. The Jets take it along the wall. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, it's a 3-1 hockey game, lots of offense already. Gustafson's won the draw here in the defensive zone. And the puck's thrown away. Good use of the body on the play. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Makes his presence known on the ice. Moves it to Niskanen. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Battling for it along the boards. The Jets have it now. Slides it back to the blue line. And that's blocked. Puck exits the zone. Loses his balance on the play. Receives the pass. Thunderous collision on the play. And look at the bench set up. The Ducks gain control of it. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Dishes it off. Denies him. Hellebuck's able to get to position and negate that dangerous slot shot. And it's a quick pass to Nemestikov. Winnipeg's got the puck in the defensive end. Sends it in deep. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. And that's taken away. Tippett's lugging the puck. Quick feed to Richards. Takes the puck at the point. 
Great heads up play to poke it away at the offensive end. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Cheryl, the name of the game is winning, but you gotta think ownership's loving these pack houses night after night after night. Show me the money, James. The concessions <laughs> are lined up, and you can certainly see the colors of the team being worn by all of these people in the seats. You gotta believe that this franchise is pretty happy. And he avoids the poke jump with some great edge work. The Ducks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Slides the puck over. Takes the pass from the left wing. Centering feed. And he denies that great opportunity there. I thought that was looking pretty banged up out there, James. I'm not sure if he's going to finish the shift. Oh, and look who gets rocked once again. Well, he's a target now, James, because he's got a lack of spatial awareness. you got to keep your head up if you want to play this game and be safe in it. The Ducks gain possession. The Jets have it from their own end. Pushes it across to Lowry. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Makes some space. Sends the feed in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And will get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Iafalo's in a lot of pain here, James, as he's trying to make his way back to the bench. He was injured somewhere in the shift, showing his passion to try and stay committed to the play, but he's got to get off. Past the midway mark in this period, Anaheim's got a 3-1 lead. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Moves it quickly over to Shifley. Poked away at center by Power. Here's a short pass to Shifley. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Moves it up. Slides the pass over to Morrissey. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Oh, he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Quick pass to Perfetti. Oh, great move to sidestep the chip. Shakes off the defender with some nifty moves. And he slides it quickly to Richards. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Nemestikov. And he loses control of the puck. Sends it ahead to Silverberg. And he takes the dish. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Perfetti. Moves it to Anderson Dolan. Drills him. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Shot. And he was ready for that one. Hellebuck's putting on a clinic tonight, and he's been busy right from the get-go of this game, right from puck drop. And it's almost as if he got dialed in right away. He built momentum, and he's feeling it. Time in the penalty box is up, and he's got to get back to just finding his place within the game on the ice, and he gets a nice scoring chance right there that needs to give him some confidence. He can play physical, but he's also got to play with his brain. Anaheim's yeah, been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Winnipeg's right where they should be in this game. Behind James, it's been earned because they've been scrambling in their own zone. They've been disjointed and disconnected and they haven't had any puck possession. When you don't have the puck on your stick, you can't generate any offense at all. Well, 
Well, the official was right there to make the tripping call, and it's a pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's skates. Guys, this PKU that successfully killed off a penalty so far tonight, we know they're ranked toward the bottom of the league, but if they can borrow a little bit of execution from that earlier one, maybe they can shut it down again right here. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill and manages to clear the zone. Winnipeg's regained possession of the puck. Quick feed to Lowry. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Takes a shot, and he usually stops that one. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Johns plays it against the boards, and he loses control here. Lowry's got it across the line. Big play inside the defensive zone. And that goes off the body. Oh, he had the answer on that one. Here's a chance to get it out. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Here's a shot. What a save by Hellebuck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Nemestikov. Shot blocked in front. Taken along the wall by Nemestikov. Hammers him into the boards. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Slides it across to Shifley. The Ducks take possession here in the open ice. Drives to the sweet spot. And that play's neutralized. Broken up by Connor. Takes the puck, but still hangs on to the puck. Muffs the shot attempt. Oh, a clutch save! Hellebuck's been excellent tonight, James. I mean, the score could be a lot worse. His save percentage is great. He's doing everything to keep his team in it. They need to shore up their defensive end and get going north. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Rossi's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Jets win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. He tips it. Anaheim's got possession while undermanned. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And the man advantage fails to pay off as both teams are back at even strength. That's a great job by the PK unit, James. Late in the game when they're up by one, and they close and shut it down. Awesome job by everyone to figure out how to get it down the ice and kill some valuable seconds. Lots of time left in this period. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. And now he moves it quickly to Lowry. Saucers it tape to tape. Denies him on the play. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Locked him right against the ball. Tippet. Looks to set up at the point now. Oh, what a save with the club by Hillebuck. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3 1 is where we sit. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that turns off one of his teammates in front. Comes up with the steal. Put it to the front of the net. Scores! The Panthers put it into his own net. Winnipeg's got to be feeling confident now getting that one back, Sheriff. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming and they got to win this faceoff and dictate the pace. There's the whistle icing the call, big face off looming. The Ducks have shown no signs of stopping, putting pucks on net, and they lead it here in this third.
Page got it in the defensive zone. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. Along the wing up the neutral zone. There's a collision with some authority. Moves the puck over to champion. Johns has been so dangerous tonight. He wants that puck on his stick. He's got two goals already, and he's looking for the hat trick. We're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. The Ducks win the faceoff. Shuts the door with a great save. Now he slides it up to Connor. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Puck grabbed by Connor. Feeds it over. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass over to Enroth. The Ducks play it along the board. Still has possession. The Ducks get a hold of it. And that's broken up. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Scantella. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Ducks take possession in the defensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. And here's the pass to tip it. Into the slot. Big save in front. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Detroit's up next as this homestand will continue. And a team that when they're playing well, they are a tough out with the offense that they can provide. We will see them. Hammers the shot. Gets a piece of it to make the save. Not trying to take your job, James, but I had to mention that big hit. Wow, that was a ringer. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Sometimes you have a conversation with the official just to give them a the heads up that you're not happy. So setting the tone, setting an undercurrent because they've been more penalized. Especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter and you have to possess that puck and attack. From right out of midair, he bats it down. Shot! Oh, look at the glove save by Benetov! Rossi's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Absolutely strike here in the turn. Yeah, really important that they didn't get frustrated. They just trusted the process and they found themselves getting the equalizer. Now there's a lot of games to be played to try and win it. The Sony goaltenders love to drop to that butterfly position and make themselves as big as possible. That's what he does. He tries to cover up the majority of the net, but there are some holes, and the shooter finds one. Coach's reaction here on that tying goal. Listen, this team has clawed their way back into this one, and finally you see some emotion behind the bench. The Jets have scratched and clawed their way to making this a tie game here and a critical point in the third. That's critical timing, James. The bench just erupts with that equalizer. And listen, when you score a goal like this often, you put your opponent on their heels because they knew they had the game within reach. Now it's a much different story. Along the wing. And the puck departs the zone. And he slides it quickly to Alfaro. Makes a move in front. And he gets just enough to keep it out. Tries to feed it over to Faber. You gotta love these moments within a game, James. It's tight. The game really hasn't opened up. You gotta play free, but you have to play responsible as well. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. There's another hit on the play. He's going to feel terrible tomorrow, James. Over and over again, he's been throttled. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. 
From the point, they take control of it. Big time stop. Slides it across. Scores! Pop and bottles for a selling. What a shot. That's just adding insult to injury, isn't it? James, a top shatter shot that just sends the water bottle assailant. Well, he had his eyes on the puck. He tracked it perfectly and got himself set to position, James. I thought he had it. He got a good chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. The Ducks with a huge goal here in this third period. Now buckle up and can they hang on? Oh, I think it's more than hanging on, James. They've got to continue to attack and they've got to manage the puck. I mean, yes, it's the third period. There's a lot of runway left here. It's only a one goal game. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Big time stop there. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. A critical draw here. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Hellebuck's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. In the final moments of this period, the Ducks are looking to build on this one goal lead. Sends a pass over. A chance up front. Block shot. Takes a wrist shot. That's blocked. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The Ducks have been a lot of fun to watch tonight. Lots of offensive scoring chances, and they have capitalized late here in this third. Moves it quickly over to DeMello. Quick shot, and that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. Over the line they come. Works it across to Richards. Picked off by Nemestikov. Post away in the defensive end. Anaheim's got the puck. Takes the feed. Takes that pass back to the corner. Oh, what a tough save there! A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Under a minute to go on the third. Tries to get it over to Velarde. Here's a short pass to Connor. First one in close. Oh, what a close save. Wow. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Centers are set. Face off ready to resume play. Centers jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Quick pass to Michael. A shot into the Yanni Cage. Winnipeg's got the puck. The Ducks have it in the offensive end. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. The Jets take possession in the neutral zone. Oh, he rocked him on the play. Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Big draw coming up with the extra attacker on the ice. Slides in off the wing after the Sutterman tied him up. And a nice save there as play continues. Moves the puck along the half wall. Makes the glove stop. Covers it up, will get a stoppage in play. The net is empty, the extra attacker's out, and a huge face-off looming. Play is back at the way, quick shot on goal! Turn that chance aside. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. Big win tonight, and this team's really starting to peak at the right time. Uh, and you know how a winning streak continues, James? You continue to push and play aggressive, and that's exactly what they did from the onset of this game.
Well, that'll bring an end to an exciting night of hockey. And for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James. She's Cheryl. Good night, everybody.